Hello, everyone. Sorry for the delay. We were dealing with yet some more technical difficulties. I know. It's surprising, isn't it? Um, Chris will technical be... Technical ones! Yes. Chris will be here <laughs> shortly. He is dealing with some things. Um... Sorry. If you guys missed it, uh, we had our live stream on Friday, and it was fantastic. And it was amazing. If you missed it, go back and watch that right now while still streaming this. Exactly. I did. Or f figure out a way. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Do the things. Other than that, make sure you like and subscribe on all of our platforms. Facebook, YouTube, uh, Kick, Trovo, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok. Like and subscribe, all those things. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam. Ring the bell for notifications. Sam, Sam, yes. Sam, what happened? Yes. Yeah. What, what did we do? What happened? What happened? Uh, Guess who's mom, prepared mom, this mom, week? Mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. I just so. want you to love me. I do. Okay, so last week, or rather Friday, which I guess was last week, uh, the party uh, drew a door, looked inside, figured out that we were probably at the prison, <clears throat> and then painted over the door. We waited until we knew the amulet was ready to use again, and then we painted another door, this time with a peephole, and then ventured into the prison. Uh, after very thoroughly exploring the prison and encountering many glowing prisoners who either didn't believe we were trying to free them or paid us no mind at all, we reached the wing housing souls, reliving terrible traumas. One, ceaselessly, uh, whose fingers were ceaselessly cut by the pages of the books that he was reading, watched a tornado blow through a room and his wife being crushed by a bookshelf. Another forever gorged himself, or gorged themselves, <clears throat> excuse me, only for the food to turn into glass in their mouth. Real wholesome stuff. Lastly, we found a young red-haired elk girl, glowing like the other prisoners. Beside her was what seemed to be a pile of rag rags. As we tried to talk to the girl, a specter of a mind flare appeared, and a ghostly vision of Gwen stands in its way before being slain by the mind flare and fall into the floor where the pile of rags seemed to be. Assuming the girl was G Gwen, we attempt, attempted to escape the prison with her, but not before we were attacked by chain devils and eventually a pit fiend. Elric narrowly was able to use the amulet, allowing us all to escape. We landed in Castellatry with no little Gwen to be seen. The session ends with Elric sending Hymir a message to try the resurrection and Gwen opening her eyes. Yeah. You got to, saved to by uh, the <laughs> running out of time for the session. <laughs> <laughs> so is this where we like cut in like a, like some like say the save by the bell theme? Yeah, exactly. And then just like and then just it's a montage of the last few minutes of the session. Yes. <laughs> So, this is where we start. It is early morning. Sun is rising. It's a fairly clear day. You are on the hillsides, on the outskirts of Castellatri, a town that you are all very, very familiar with and have spent quite a bit of time in. What are you doing? What time is it? Er, about dawn. Is this um, immediate? Kevin? Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I, I assume this is immediately after where we left off. Correct. Okay. Um, I believe I was portaled while well, turtled. Yes, you were. I was turtled. Portaled. Turtled. 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 I was portal power. Portal. Yep. I will pop my head. Feet and arms out of my shell, look around in a panic, and say, "Where's Where's Gwen? Where's Where's Gwen?" Um, 
Did I receive we, a message back from Hymir? Yeah, yeah, we we sent a message to Hymir and he okay. sent a message back when we got back. What what did he say? He acknowledged that we told him to start the spell. Cuz um Gwen wasn't here when we got in and we figured cuz she's a spirit. Right. Um what is it? Knowledge or sorry, I'm thinking 3.5. Is it uh, religion to know? Is it arcana or religion to know stuff about her soul and the resurrection and the bringing her back from hell and all that? Hey, we got a Chris. Um, what what are you trying to? I believe that Butch would wonder if simply returning to the material plane would be enough to get her soul okay. available for the resurrection yeah, spell. Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll religion for me. Am I there? This week is apparently sponsored by GoPro. Yeah. 14. Um, <laughs> Thank you, GoPro. You're pretty sure? Theoretically, yes, you've never been part of a rescue mission to hell, so you can't be 100% sure, but you feel confident that that would be all that was needed. Hey, right, so. Chris, Orpheus has joined us. Way out of the loop, guys, sorry. Oh, goodly. <laughs> no worries. So now we just wait for Hymer to tell us that it's been successful. So we should probably get a move on to get back in in the meantime. I could use rest. I'm I'm not doing too good. I'm, where I mean, are I'm not we? doing as badly. But. Maybe we could walk down to our uh, quarters here. Are we in the city? You're kind of off to the outskirts, kind of uh, the south west side uh, around where you exited to go uh, look for that the missing people I'm kind of tired of being in the city right now well we could just tiny up tiny hut right here and uh, rest I mean when can we when can we see? When can we find out from Hymir how it went? I don't know how long this usually takes. Well, unless somebody has business in town, and then we can just go into town, rest. Yeah, I'm going into Patient, town. Patiently wait. <coughs> I gotta pick something up since we're here. I think I'll also go into town. Are you hanging back, Butch? Well, town should be safe. So I could stay here. In town or outside of town? I'm just kind of exhausted. I'm just going to walk off into town and go to his quarters and take a short rest. Okay. What time of day is it? Didn't uh, I'm sure dawn. Said it. Okay. So, as you all kind of split, uh, Arnon heading back to his quarters, the rest of you, uh, Butch kind of hanging out on the hill, the rest of you doing whatever. About Elric, what are you doing? 
Uh, I was going into town as well, but not to the... Not to our barracks or sleeping quarters. Okay. So you head, start walking in. About... Let me see one second. One thing real quick. No, he does not. Okay, cool. About an hour or so passes before... In your head, you hear... Not the voice of Hymir... But the voice of Calliope. Ugh, thank God. Who says to you, Yeah, Harriet, it's your mother. No, sorry, wrong person. <laughs> no, um, no, I not, thought it was going to be Hugh. <laughs> that's what I thought as well. And I was like, I'm going to leave. I've got to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I was go like, I was like, this is a short session. Like, <laughs> no, you hear the voice of Calliope. In your head, um, Elric Mm -hmm. says, Hymir told me to tell you she's awake. When can you return? Is that the end of her message? Yes. Okay. And you just be like, is that it? (laughs) God damn. No. (laughs) Still have like eight words. (laughs) Uh, That's a limit, not a requirement. (laughs) I don't know. Speed limits seem like requirements to me. That is true. Okay, I'm going to respond with the words. That's great news. Uh, We are currently in... Like, we're we're in Castle Autry right now, right? Yeah, we are currently in Castle Autry. Um, we'll return as soon as possible. Open a fucking tree. (laughs) Metagaming parrot. (laughs) (laughs) Open a tree. (laughs) Let's see here. Sending is a third level spell. To which... She responds, you hear, she sends another sending to you afterwards and says, we can send transportation for you soon. Uh, My response is, I will contact you when we are all together. Some of us need a rest. All right. Sounds good. She doesn't say that because she can't respond to you, but. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, this is the DM, not the, not the character. Yeah. (laughs) So. What are the rest of you doing? After I take my rest, I'm going to go see Jar Jar. Oh, yeah. Jar Jar? Pick up my order. I think I ordered like 25 sessions ago. Yeah. Before we went to the other side of the country. Luckily for you, it's only been like two weeks. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know the exact time it's been since you ordered it, but it's been long. One eternity later. Yeah. <laughs> it's been one one week. afterlife later. So you uh, find it's been a hell of a ride. Yeah. <laughs> so 
You make your way over to the purple canvas. Open the door, walk in, and you do see Jandar sitting there behind the desk or behind the little counter. The place is pretty cluttered. Just stuff everywhere. A jam sport for all of his stuff. Mr. At Peter. <laughs> he looks up, sees you walk in. Oh, well, hello there. It's been quite a while since I've seen you. Best Got guy. waylaid a bit. I'm just here to pick up my order. Oh, yeah, sure. I got that uh, right over here. Hold on. He walks into the back and kind of ruffles some things around. You hear sound of a bunch of shit just like toppling off a off of a table <laughs> he walks out uh, walks out he's got this little like brown paper wrapped box and he's like okay here you, this is uh i believe this was what you ordered thank you much is there anything else got i can any, get your hard candy replenished uh yeah yeah actually i do i've got uh quite a bit couple bags worth I need to, to up my stock I'll take a bag of that yeah, sure thing be uh, one silver per bag one silver there you go I believe I paid for the thing when I ordered it too right? uh, I think so all right toss him a silver nod stoically and walk away well, thanks uh good luck hope you don't get stuck again All right, what are the rest of you doing? I guess I'll make my way back up to where I left Butch. You making my way? <laughs> making my Butch. way out of town. Butch is snoring. Butch just straight up passed out on the side of the... <laughs> Fantastic. You had 33 hit points, did you hear that? Nope, totally missed it. <laughs> yeah, you had 33, so you might want to short rest it up while you're snoring. Right. <laughs> so, what are the rest of you doing? Writing haikus. Writing haikus? <laughs> Writing haikus in chat. I see that. <laughs> Oh, sorry, not meta. You mean his character. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I meant as, <laughs> what are your characters doing? <laughs> no, I clearly know what you're talking about. I'm just being a dick. I know you are. Wait, how long have we been? Okay, cool. I can say dick. Yep. Being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Good check. I think Rain's just uh, kind of pacing around the barracks waiting for word. Not doing much of, of anything, but uh, trying not to seem to be anxiously waiting. I'm trying to look nonchalant. They aren't. I'm just gonna, um, I'm there. I'm just gonna be like, hey, you look really relaxed right now. You look like really calm. Everything, everything all right? Yeah. It, it's fine. Yeah? Just, yeah. I mean, we're just, we just, <laughs> we're just waiting, right? Right? Just waiting. Yeah. We're just, and there's nothing we, we can do. We've done everything we could, right? And and it's fine. It's fine. I see I, why uh, you and Gwen get along so well. This is this is not special circumstances. This is not typically my mo, but yeah, it's fine. And then they're just gonna like lean against the wall and like cross their arms. In that way where they're not moving, but you can tell they're really tense and just kind of really try to look nonchalant. Play my loot. Play that funky loot. Myself. Would I'm you? sorry, my yarding. I don't have a loot. I have a yarding and a mandolin. I'm going to play my yarding. My yard. Fantastic. 
Elric, was there anything else you were doing? Um, well, the one person who I'm used to selling things magical, not being in town, I'm just going to wait until I see Arnon, like, on his way to return and return with him. Fantastic. <laughs> Easy enough. Orpheus, you are suddenly in a strange town that you've never been to before. I'm just really by eleven. <laughs> uh, how's my health at the moment? Uh, Emery, do you remember what his health was? Um, I don't think he got hit that often. He maybe got hit once or twice, and even then, the what what would have been hits. I, I used shield in order to basically prevent you from getting hit. So yeah, you should be just about fine. You maybe would have lost like ten hit points, maybe fifteen at the most. Did I get any goodies? We had to bugger out real quick. Yeah, no, there was nothing to rob. It, it really was hell. There was nothing to loot. Did I lose yeah. any goodies? No. Uh, you, you were... Your stuff went untouched. A little we went, disappointed. We teleported as, uh, as King of the Orifices. All right. Well, uh, Strange Town, I guess uh, I'll just follow somebody and play puppy dog bodyguard. Fantastic. All right. Who so, can I tag along with? Come back and uh, stand outside the barracks. <laughs> is, that, is that where you are? Yeah. All right. We can hang out by the barracks. I, I think I want to go find a bar at some point. And there's plenty of bars here. There's one that you... The one that you guys typically would frequent right near... I think it was like right next door to the barracks. I'd probably follow Rhett to, uh, to the bar. I think Butch I'm going to loudly a... announce that I'm going to go find right. a bar. And then, yeah, I'm just going to... Loudly announce, I'm going to find a bar so that Rain knows inherently that she would be invited, but I don't want to invite her because she seems to be in a very anxious place. So, go to a bar. Who's coming with me? <laughs> Just I'll play I'll play chaperone. Nerd. <laughs> we don't need nerd chaperones. <laughs> Just kidding. You're invited. Come on. <laughs> All right. So you guys walk into this bar. Is it just the three of you? Which one? Is it the dancing unicorn? Yes, it is. Because uh, I can't find my notes from that far back where I had the actual name of the the laughing unicorn. It really laughing is. Laughing unicorn. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So you walk into this bar, very similar. It kind of feels like coming back home. Um, very calm. There's a little bit of music playing from a couple uh, minstrels up on the uh, up on the little makeshift dais play area. Um, you do see at this point, it's probably you know. 20, 25 people in there eating breakfast. Uh, you do see a couple barmaids kind of running back and forth from table to table and you do see that same familiar older dwarf male um, behind the bar kind of you see him kind of plating some food and pouring some drinks. Like coming back home. Hey, remember when I stabbed that guy in the throat right there? 
on the floor. It's cool. <laughs> Memories. Oh Memories. Are all are the rest of you joining in there, or is it still just the three of you? I mean, if I see him, I'll go there. Did anybody go wake up Butch? I'm asleep in my hut. I, I'll i be fine. Okay. Wait, in your hut where? <laughs> He's still up on the right, hillside. Right where we landed. All right, so all of you enter this... Enter this bar. Like I said, this, this tavern you do. Familiar smells of cooked meats and mushroom omelets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a mushroom omelet and like probably like put on whatever sunglasses exist in this universe and like cry a little bit <laughs> it's been a lot like we've been to hell you guys <laughs> to like, hell and back we've been, like, yeah like we've literally been to hell I'm gonna have a cry over some mushroom omelet you know <laughs> fantastic <laughs> So I'm just te- having a teary omelet <laughs> with some whiskey, eggs course, and whiskey. You know, it's great. It the breakfast so of sad. champions. <laughs> I saw him. I joined him at the bar. All right. It's a Fantastic. cry of relief. Like, don't you? I mean, like, we all have some relief cries sometimes where it's like, thank God it's over. Like that part, you know, so it's like, all right. At least you think it's over. Anyway. Mm, I swear to God. <laughs> Uh, it, if I'm joining everyone and I notice that Butch isn't here, I'm going to ask, where's Butch? I mean, we would have known he stayed there. We would have watched him not leave as we left. You guys see him put up his hut? Probably. Yeah. I mean, didn't we have a discussion about the hut? Because it was hut so, versus town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And I was doing the ritual to make the hut as you guys are leaving. Butch had a rough morning. I think Butch is I time. think Butch is taking a nap, but I mean he's clearly invited if he wants to be here. Maybe maybe we don't need to, to wake him until uh we hear something. Well I've heard something. I think Oh. Oh, well, well, hey, you want to go wake Butch? I guess depending on the heard something, but <laughs> the news of what you have heard. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go wake Butch. Okay. Actually, let me see if I can let's see. What's the range on? It's probably a little too far for a message. Yeah, he's uh, not. He's in the house. Can you send yeah, Ethan? <gasps> can I send can I send Elton to just go wake him up? <laughs> I mean, you can. You can send him off that way. Is I just, like, I just imagine this little pug saying. dragon body just be like, burp, 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 and just like nosing at Adam until like Butch wakes up and so, Butch just is like, all right. <laughs> on that note, it takes him thing. about. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bush. It's Elton. Elton, it takes Elton probably about (laughs) half an hour to waddle his little way to the edge of town, out, go back up, and uh, inside your hut, snoring like a lawnmower out here, Butch, um, suddenly you feel this little nudge in your leg. Nothing snores like a butch. That's like... That's that's gonna be the runs like a deer. Yeah, uh, that's that's the long horror reference. You, I uh, just slowly pull my leg up into my shell. <laughs> he goes around to the other leg and starts nudging the other leg. <laughs> slowly pull the leg up into he my shell. <laughs> grabs your toe with his little like not enough to break the skin, but just kind of like starts nibbling <laughs> at your toe before it goes all the way in. Ah ah ah. I sit up. What? Wipe the tears from my eyes. <laughs> he whistles you. Spice a jaunty really t- doesn't sponsor us. <laughs> they they could. They could. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's my phone. I'm like, hey, Elton. 
He just kind of like, kind of like does the little like butt waggle and like r runs to the edge of the hut, then like runs back at you and kind of paws at you, then runs to the edge of the hut. What's that, Timmy? Just kind of keep. I look outside. What, what time of day is it? Um, it's still it's still fairly early morning. Like it's past dawn. The sun's. It's you've been hanging out here for probably a little over an hour or so. Is it meal time, bud? Because I got food here. You hungry? I'll get out some food for him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he just kind of like walks up and kind of like swats uh, hold, away. No. Elton tips the bowl over in frustration, yeah. but continues to wiggle his little butt. <laughs> and then nudges you, does the weird like dog thing. You know, yeah. it's like, all right, come on. You know, you're just going to keep coming up to you and like encouraging right. you to follow him. Uh, he, he's doing the want to go outside? Yeah. Want to go outside? Yeah. yeah. I don't oh. say that too loud, please. <laughs> oh, right. Actually, I, I yeah. can't actually make any rolls because I'm not on the scene. Oh, shit. You're not. Hold on a second. <laughs> there, now you are. Actually, there one of my you. dogs actually is laying outside of my door because he's very mad that I'm in here right now. Oh, no. All right. Let me roll. Yeah, inside. he's following me around all day. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. Natural one. What is this guy telling me? I may, okay. I, you know, hey, I think he wants some water. Wait, can 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 freaking Elton roll on how he does with this? Can you make a butch handling check? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> portal handling check? How long have they been? How long has Elton been gone at this point? Um, Elton, minutes. Yeah, probably about forty-five minutes at this point. How long would it take one of us to get out there? About fifteen minutes. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, fuck it. And then, like, go. All right. Find so, Butch. so you, Rain walks out there. I want to witness you see, some of this. <laughs> you see uh, Elton basically, like, doing the back and forth and then, like, trying to grab at Butch's stuff. Like, uh, not grabbing on him, but, like, grabbing some of his random stuff oh, in his on, mouth. Buddy. Like, grabbing the shield and, like, dragging the shield towards the edge of the hut. Like hey, attempting hey, to, is he but... dragging it? <laughs> Giggity. Um, I love that. But you know, you get this horse. big, heavy shield and this tiny little dragon, and it's like he's like barely moving it, you know. Oh, my boy! I will, I will examine him and see if someone attached a note. I'm gonna walk. Damn up it! That would have been really smart. <laughs> to the tent. I'm gonna solve this with a note. <laughs> I rolled a twelve to look for a note. And I'm there, drinking and trying into a mushroom no, omelet. All right, I'm no not note. thinking about notes. <laughs> there's no notes. Can Butch see me approach through the tent? Yeah, through the through hut. The uh, it, if I weren't completely focused on this okay. little drink, all right. Um, I think I know what he wants. I'm gonna rub his belly. You all are oh doing this God. just because of that meme I just sent, aren't you? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to, to see meme. I'm touching the hut. I'm frantically waving my arms outside the hut. I'm doing this. I'm pounding on it. Any of it working? Because the next thing I'm gonna try you to can, do no. You can go in the hut. <laughs> yeah, you're I welcome thought he had to invite hut. me. No, no, you're all invited. Oh, I, mean, I mean, are you a vampire? No, but I thought that <laughs> Now we no. go. I thought the tiny hut. You guys, bad news. Of creation, a vampire. The person had to say who could be in it. It so does, but you, but you're already invited. Okay. Of course, you All wouldn't right. know oh. that until you try to put your hand through it. Okay, then I do try to put my hand through it. Realize I can walk in, Butch. Hey, hey, Rain. Uh, also, Nick, I, it's not. I didn't even see your meme. This is just me as a person. <laughs> it's ruining everything. I, I it's ruining no everything. <laughs> Albert got word about Gwen. Oh. So if you want to come, come into town, we're meeting in the tavern by the barracks. The laughing yeah. unicorn. That was weird. No one came back. Well, I guess that, you came that, back. That's... I just gesture towards Elton, and I'm like, well, that that's what... He was trying to get you to come back. That was the idea, and oh. obviously that was a bust. But let's... Yeah, I'm going to... 
put my hands out to try to pick up Elton, but I'm going to do it in the way of like someone who really awkwardly holds a baby. Because I'm not entirely <laughs> oh. sure how to handle like, the dragon. Like, so doesn't want to hold it, but like, yeah, the first like, time I don't know mom is I like, no, you want this. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't know if I should hold it, but he took way too long to get out here, so I'm just gonna, like, hold him like this and, uh, be like, come on, and and try to get Butch back to the tavern. When you pick him up, though, he does, like, that really heavy dog sigh where he's, like, <sniffs> like, well, just breathes in and breathes out really rapidly <laughs> out of frustration. Would you rather be on my shoulders? While Rain is doing that, I will gather up all my stuff. All right. I get wiggly. <laughs> Pack up. You head back to the tavern and meet up with everyone else. Does the hut the walk toddler with me? dead weight? No, thing? it stays put. I'll just walk out. No, he's like, happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when you as soon as you leave the the inside of it, it it disapparates. I guess goes poof. It disappears. <laughs> Dissipates? Dissipates? Thank it's, you. That's it explodes. <laughs> dissipates. I actually I That's couldn't interpret. I was like, I was like, I need to figure out what this means. I love it. Yeah. It's like deapparate? <laughs> or just disappear. I guess that works too. I believe the word you're looking for is Yeah, it goes. <laughs> anyway, so now Butch walks in Butch and Rain carrying Ethan, or not Ethan, but Elton, awkwardly make their way back into the tavern. Immediately over to Rhett and just your your boy. <laughs> I hand him back to Rhett. I'm just gonna be like, oh, good boy, buddy, good boy. Just be all wiggly some more. Like, I know you can't talk. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to look for the one chair they had that could actually support my weight. Is it still here? Yes. I will go get that chair unless someone else is in it. No, it's fine. That's good. Roll for throwing someone else out of a chair. <laughs> Are we all around the table now? Yes, you are all sitting around the table. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm going for a trip. Yeah. <laughs> and Elton's uh, like, his little fat pug body is just like sitting in my lap and I'm just like feeding him pieces of like scraps. <laughs> Sweet mercy. Okay. Oh my god. Did That's you steal fantastic. that from a convention oh, wow. center? <laughs> I have to get is that, is that like a wedding wall that you guys before. used? Yeah. Because that would be cool. Or is that like a photo photo studio? Is that a furry bench? Oh, we can't hear. You guys, we have we need to do cribs it with Chris. Fact, yeah. <laughs> Just like, a full like wall. D D cribs. That's awesome. And a furry bench. <laughs> for all awesome. your very white action <laughs> all right anyway. i don't think if we had a hashtag a furry time. bench that we would right. get the kind of attention that we'd actually want <laughs> all right oh. everyone i have news do i need a drink in my hand first this is good news all right i'll sit down So you stand up for backers? Yeah, he needs to be able to do a spit take. Oh my god. <laughs> Gwen is alive. Those are flowers for Gwen. <laughs> flowers for Algernon. No. <laughs> oh, it, not that. Hate no. that. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the flowers. I'm, I named a mouse Algernon once, and it died. That's a real life um, story. So, there you go. Flowers uh, are <clears throat> appropriate for funerals. What are appropriate for resurrections? What is that? History? Mushroom. Religion? <laughs> Medicine? 
I mean, maybe just something she likes. Okay. Perhaps our presents. <laughs> yes, I'm going to get her some presents. And all of the oh things you looted from her body. <laughs> <laughs> Bowed. Not wooted. I'm so glad you're back this week, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I think okay. that we should definitely get some chocolate covered crickets whilst in town. Yeah. Fresh batch of crickets. <laughs> this isn't where Bart is, is it? No. Okay, thank God. Bart is Quinn back. Is Bart. I'm gonna be some <laughs> Bart is back in Torchev. Because I just remembered all the mushrooms are out in the hills. I have some more good news. Transportation is ready for us whenever we're ready. All I have to presents do... and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> the general is working with the druids to make this possible. Okay. Orpheus. Your help with this mission, it's appreciated. Also, your tolerance of us getting your name wrong about a thousand times. Orpheus, we love you. Oh my god. <laughs> It's true, Orpheus. Well, I was glad I could help. My goal was just to stir some feathers down there. Any chance to get back at them, I jump for. Oh, hey, since I wasn't at the last session, uh, was did Butch use his... Um, his spell to send some people home? Um, we'll say that through the course of the three days you were sitting there, yes. That's three more souls out of hell. And one of those was, in, didn't, was not Kaseel, I assume. No, Kaseel was still there when you left. Bad out of hell. That is the... The bad news. We completed our mission. The, the, the one goal that we had, we, we were successful. Castile is... Castile. Castile. God. <laughs> You've been kissed from a rose and a gray. Just remember. Castile. Castile. Uh... <clears throat> Casile is... K for kiss, seal for seal. <laughs> He's still in hell. Question is, do we... Do we tell the general about him? I think it would... In my opinion, without question. Yeah, I but think it would be unwise I think that that's... To. We, I'm happy to discuss that as a group. I would like for Orpheus, I actually almost forgot how to actually say your name because I'm a monster. I would like for Orpheus to join us back to speak with the general. I think that he should, if, if you'd like to come with us, I think it would be wonderful if you continued on with us, shared, you know, our story with the general, and perhaps you can help us come up with a plan to help her brother should she want that. Well, it's not like I have anywhere else to go. Well, that was super heartfelt, and we really appreciate the the emotional <laughs> connection that you've clearly made with us. <laughs> you know what? We appreciate they are now part of our family. Ask the Furious in theaters soon. 
Oh my gonna, god. Does that make does that make y'all shameless plug? Fioth? <laughs> we can we I become an unofficial member of the uh, sneaky it's, cheeks? It's, Sneaky cheeks. <laughs> it, it's it's. We uh, are not going by the name Sneaky Cheeks for the. L- where no. all the clapping is always happening. Oh I'll have horse God. in this race per se, but I think Sneaky Cheeks is fine. Don't it, it rain, I please. <laughs> I don't. Please sneaky Cheeks. It's, it's when you're, they're golf clapping. Oh my God! Did, it's golf clapping cheeks. <laughs> Red, you 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 stop. <laughs> Rain, don't do it. No. We could oh. be. Um, <laughs> no. We could be Calliope's claps. <laughs> uh, that sounds uh, like a disease. <laughs> just, and like, yeah, and then like our, our theme song can like be from Strong Bag and it's just a claps. Just a claps. Great. It's all figured out. I, 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 We're a I nuisance. Have, We're hard to I, get rid of. We're frustrating. Kind of fits. Yeah, I, I have another name in mind. I'm just gonna. I am a big fan of everybody calling to action and having a clap attack. Oh my god! <laughs> or, or, Orpheus, please. <laughs> We're gonna lay the Orpheus. clap down. A, very, and very, as a human, the only human here, I would assume I am. I have the largest cheeks to clap. Is this correct? I'm half human. I may have a solution to that. Elric, does the reincarnate does the reincarnate spell exist in this fifth edition game? I think it technically does. Reincarnate. I will and, say and we that have a it way wasn't to, to no, cure no. his humanism. <laughs> yeah, it that, was that's... an option for me to pick for Gwen. That's the one yes. where you have to roll what race you end up, yes. I believe. Yeah. It is. Right. But it would fix the problem. It, that's oh my god. I am I'm not unhumanizing yeah. myself. Thank you. Don't dehumanize Orpheus. Fuck. Uh, perhaps we could come up with a name to. I curse an infernal. <laughs> How about uh, oh, it oh, burns when cursed. we flee? He just cursed you guys. <laughs> it burns what? when what? When we flee, <laughs> that's a that's ha, no no no. What what <laughs> what what's your what's your thought, Elric? Given that we've been a thorn <laughs> in the demon side for nearly since the beginning of our becoming a group. I was thinking Demon's Bane. It sounds like a plant. Uh, Also... What about some demon claps? I want that one. What about the demon Demon clap? If, If those natural ones... Start selling merch. You need a T-shirt that has clap attack on the front with, you know. Yeah. Like the sneakies. Yes. The sneaky cheeks. And then on the back, you have to have it. It hurts when I flee. It hurts. Oh it burns. We are a military. That's, okay, those are, that's the shirts that I'm going to make those shirts for when we go to PAX Unplugged next year. Yes. I mean, just to be a little I'm meta sorry, here, when military did you guys companies go to basic have training? really, really <laughs> shitty names like that. So it I would say uh, our <laughs> introduction into being a military company was our first thing that we did together. Uh, if we are going to be respected amongst the rest of the army that we are also serving alongside, then we keep the name hidden in secret. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Look, oh, I served in the wall for two years. We keep the name hidden in secret, and we know it in infernal, which is which is, you know, like just our our clapping cheeks. 
You know, sneaky clothes. We could all get matching tattoos. But we say it in Infernal and they'll never know. Matching tattoos. Rain just leans back. We'll make it an Infernal, like she said. Nobody will be able to read it except for us. I don't know if I should get a tattoo at Infernal. But you probably should not have Infernal tattooed on your body. No. Oh, wait, we're talking about tap? We're doing sweet, sneaky, it's not cheap, even a temporary cool tattoo. Tats? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't Exhausting. suppose any uh, large lady turtles have um, come to town. Uh, no. Lost two past son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm well, having more fun watching Emery struggle to control us <laughs> than this, this anything is, else. Here. This is literally a bit that we're doing right now. <laughs> All right. Like, en- I, enough with the cheats. Yeah. <laughs> so let's move it. I should right go. Along here. I should go gather some mushrooms. Um. Rhett, oh, you probably look really comfortable here. I can go by myself. No, I, I would love... I, you invited me, then uninvited me, but I would love to be invited. <laughs> oh, no, you're all invited. I just, you all are in town, and I don't want to... It won't, probably won't take me that no, long. I would, I would love to spend some time mushroom gathering with... With Butch, I would love to go a gathering because then we can put it all in the in the bag of holding. Sure. So as many as we have, like it's no big deal. So let's go chug three drinks and then go mushroom hunting. Yeah, shots, mushroom shots. Let's do it. Go ahead and make survival checks, both of you. Survival check for mushrooms. Each of us in finding mushrooms. I've learned There's a lot about awesome. nature on our travels. Considering my background, I'll find food. <laughs> you also pick the wrong kind of mushroom. Yeah. And it fucks Butch, you up. Butch, you find Ooh. quite a few uh, edible mushrooms. Rhett, you find some mushrooms. You don't know what whether they're... <laughs> yeah. You, you don't know what they um, are. You, you can harvest so them if you do. Like, I'm like, like hey... We, we drank the same amount, but I don't react the same way you do. Please check these for me. So I'm going to hand over uh, those my handful the kind of that Gwen would especially enjoy. Oh, no. These all, all of these mushrooms that Rhett has bought or has found here are ones that would instantly make you, like, l- just regurgitate everything in your stomach. I'm pretty sure that that... Counts as mushrooms that she would particularly like to have. Those, those are that, just the that's ones fair. that she wants, not that she needs. I mean, so wow. these these are amazing, right? You're doing a, an amazing job. We're gonna keep them in a separate little pouch because they're poisonous. Man, so like, so this is the first time that I did a bad job, but it's okay. Thanks, man. It's fantastic <laughs> because. Gwen likes that sort of thing. So after- and like for me, like I feel I feel immediately closer to Butch because I like having my famous parents, like I was never getting like that kind of affirmation. I'm just like, oh, I didn't do great, but it was still all right. Cool. Like So you guys go out, you find a nice little hefty bag of like Good a mushrooms. A hefty bag. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Stinky, stinky, That's stinky. A big <laughs> bag. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. That's where I went, yeah. and for once I didn't go there. So I'm proud of me. <laughs> so you do, uh, and then you also find Rhett's small bag of poisonous mushrooms as well. You all meet back Rhett, up. Do you want me to? Do you want me to carry you back? No, it's still light for me. Did you say, do you want me to carry the bag? No, uh, you. Oh, all right. Hooray! Uh, I Yay! 
So. I, can I be on one shoulder and then Elton's on your other shoulder? <laughs> We're just like, uh, having yes. a good time. You guys make it back to the tavern where you meet up with everyone else. Don't worry, I'll put you down before we try to go through the door. Put her down. Mm. We'd still be Fiat. The H is just silent. That'd be pretty fantasy. Fiat. 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 It's, it's like H F E. Four elves. A-A-T. Human and a tur- turtle. F- Fiat. A reincarnation spell. I'm telling you. So, as these two regroup with the rest of you, is everyone ready? Yeah. Is it a boat? Oh, wait. It's a tree, right? It's a tree. So, Nick, what is it like traveling through the tree? Is it like a moss sensation? Is it like you're looking out over a grassy knoll at a motorcade? Is it... It's kind of like a tunnel. It's just an instantaneous transport. Like, basically, the tree splits open, and it's a... And you see the other side, and you basically just walk in and walk through. Like an anchored dimension door. Yeah, more or less. You, like, lose your stomach at all? No. (laughs) Seamless. So it's like a Narnia tree closet. Yeah, basically. It's a Narnia tree closet. What happens if you're in the tree when it closes? You probably don't want to find that out. Now I do. Don't be lasagna. (laughs) Do you get popped out on one side or the other, or are you like... Oh my god, what if it's like a Play-Doh? Like, it's Play-Doh, and you just come out. You remember what happened to that pit fiend in episode, like, three? Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. The same thing that didn't happen to the pit fiend in episode 43. <laughs> what did we name that pit fiend? Did we name him Art? Or Matt? We named him? Wait, what's his name? The pit fiend, is it hanging on the wall or do we leave him on the floor? We left him there. Okay. I, I start casting sending. Go for it. <laughs> General, we're, we're ready. It burns when we pee here. It you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it, we're, we're. Send. Or get the portal ready as soon as possible. So where's this tree? Oh my god, is it going to be a portal like in portal? And like we're like half and half. Maybe it's an evil portal. So, oh no. We should probably like stand by the biggest tree that we can see. Yeah, you hear Calliope respond to you. Says, get to the tree in the courtyard of the citadel of the and get there in 10 minutes the portal will open it will only be open for six seconds so run through as soon as it opens we get to the citadel and somebody pops over the top of the wall and says hello hello (laughs) oh we already got one (laughs) all right now go away Do what? (laughs) How many trees are there for us to pick from? So you make your way, and you're very familiar. You've gone to this courtyard many times. Um, There's quite a few, like, there's a handful of smaller trees, but there is one kind of centralized larger oak tree that you're fairly confident that this would be the one that they open, considering the other ones would probably be a little too small for the heftier of you to fit through. 
Hefty, hefty, hefty. More trash conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Endless Can I use my trash. Hat, of, hat of disguise to look like a gigantic version of Elric? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Why? you can. <laughs> I'm so. I, know, I just thought of it. Now I just, just thought of it. I want to try it. Now we're just fee. And I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> Five elves. Was that deception or performance? It's a how to disguise. It's just is. It, it, it just it just okay. happened. Yeah. That's one action. Neat. Yeah. So. And I'm just gonna go. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you guys walk up here and you stand for a couple minutes before you kind of standing around this tree before you hear the cracking of wood sound and the <laughs> as this tree seems to split open. And on the other side, you see what you can assume is uh, the outskirts of Torshev. Look it in. Yep. I'm in, through. In, 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 in. You all run through. And you find yourselves, uh, do I not have, <laughs> uh, I don't have that map. <laughs> ah, there it is. All right. Let me load the map real quick. But you guys find yourselves standing on the outskirts outskirts of Torchiv. Um, again, at this point, you're probably looking to close to midday. Hold on one second. Where's the map? There's the map. Come on, D and D Beyond. Not D and D Beyond. What are you? <laughs> Foundry. So. Let's activate. Oh, no. When you find Swiper. <laughs> Swiper's a little bitch. Oh my god. I don't want to talk in with vision in this scene. Hold on, I'm getting there. Fuck. Oh, that's the wrong person. <clears throat> so. You come out. Giants. Yeah, fucking huge. No. <laughs> you come out on the uh something went wrong. The, there's a small forest on the eastern side of Torchev. And you come out there. This is probably half a mile away from the temple that Butch, you, or you know, Hymir took Gwen's body. You see a familiar female wood elf druid standing there with their hand on a tree. One of the ones that Rhett, you would remember, came through into the forest when uh, you were ambushed by Tativilus after everyone ran and Gwen was dead and Arnon was bleeding out. This was one oh, of, it, was it my hiding tree? <laughs> no, but okay. no, yeah, that's not the same area. It's but it's the same druid that you saw. One of the druids that you saw okay. bring the forces through after Tativilus had buggered off. What is this druid's distinguishing feature? This druid's distinguishing feature is that she is a. Um, kind of later middle-aged female wood elf with kind of long black hair that's just starting to go gray on the edges. And when I say later to middle age in wood elf terms, you know, seven, eight hundred. Thank you, ma'am. They just nod and say, Follow me to the temple of say I almost said Saren Ray. <laughs> Wait, so so I'm the only one that would know that, right? No, you the um you would know that she you would be No, because uh Butch and Elric came 
back and went through with you. So okay. you, Butch, and Elric would recognize this person. And Arnon, okay. after he, okay. after he was brought back, after he was healed, he saw him as well. Okay, thanks for clarifying. Yep. Thanks. And she just kind of says, this way to the temple of Sehanin. So, you all walk. I'm assuming you follow her. You will walk for yes. oh, yeah. for about, you know, 10, 15 minutes before, right on the outskirts of the forest, you see this kind of modest-looking um, stone temple with a few small pillars on the front, uh, kind of vaulted roof. You notice in the front a large crescent window above a wooden door. The entire entirety of this temple probably stands 30, 35 feet maybe at the very tip. As you walk up, you see standing outside, you see Calliope, a few other soldiers kind of standing watch outside of the temple. The doors are shut. Hey. You see Calliope look at you and won't say, I'm glad you all made it. That was... Well, that was very risky, but it seems like you at least made it out mostly in one piece. We should talk, but we'd like to see our friend. By all means. And that is where we will take our break. And we will be back in about five minutes or so. Because fuck you, that's why. Because fuck you, that's why. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We love you. But yeah. I love you. Keep <laughs> telling again. We're please. Gonna, we're going to go ahead and take our break right now. And we will please uh, stick with us. And we'll be back in about five, maybe ten minutes. See you soon. And we're back. So, Gwen. Yes. You've been awake for about an hour at this point. You're mm -hmm. currently sitting on the edge of an altar. A few druids surrounding you. A few patrons of Sehanin. Your father sitting next to you. You are weak. But you're alive. You don't remember much of the last day prior to But you know I love you. <laughs> It's very hazy. You remember waking up that morning. You remember a plan to ambush the king. You remember traveling as a raccoon and watching Arnon, helping Arnon poison a well. You remember waking up, but then it all kind of is a little hazy from there. You remember flashes of traveling down a road through the forest, flashes of trees crossing and a, a turned over cart blocking a roadway, flashes of 
a stagecoach pulling up. Not much after that. Hymir has informed you a little bit, but didn't want to overwhelm you. He informed you that your friends rescued you. He didn't go into detail, but he said you're safe. Your friends traveled a great deal to rescue you, but you are safe now. Have they arrived yet? Not yet. And he said that they rescued me, but no other details? Correct. From where? We'll talk about that when you've regained your strength. Don't worry about that. The the important thing is you are safe now. Okay. And it's about this time that the front door opens and you see probably well ahead of the rest of the team, you see Butch and Rhett, Elric, Arnon, and a face you're not familiar with. Kind of all file in towards you. Rain. And Rain, sorry. Rain, yeah, Rain would have been up front with Butch. I forgot about, you're already switched and I forgot about the other ones. Oh my God, I thought I thought you were saying Rain was a face that she forgot and I was just like, no. <laughs> Oh, that would have been good, though, but no. You see, you see, filing in first probably would be Butch and Rain, followed by Rhett, Elric, and Arnon, and then shortly behind them, this dark-haired human that you don't recognize. What does her face look like? What's her expression? I would say confused, slightly exhausted. Looks like somebody who could probably go sleep for three days straight. Solemn, maybe. Does she look like hell? (laughs) Giggity. Yes, but we'd ne- but we'd never say that because we don't know how she's feeling. <laughs> you look real tired. Hey, you look tired. That's like my favorite in-office comment that someone will say passive aggressively. Super awesome. <laughs> I'll walk with rain over, assuming they let us. Oh yeah, they let, they they don't stop you. There's no one like guarding her. There's a few. Um, druids in very ceremonial robes standing on the outskirts of the temple and then there's Hymir that's sitting propped next to her. So we didn't miss visiting hours, that's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like approach behind them but like a little further back so like she's not like overwhelmed with people. And then maybe, like, explain to Orpheus who every, everyone is, like, quietly. And then sometimes we'll be like, I don't know that motherfucker. Okay, but this person, <laughs> just, like, go, go through. It'd be even cooler if she used the infernal that I taught her to, like, try to tell me who everybody is. And I, like, and I, like, fuck not it up really bad. <laughs> not, not in the holy space, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's just words. Words can't hurt you. Tell that. To the but we're in a fantasy you. world where words can absolutely hurt you. Hold on a second. Have, haven't you heard about she, sticks and stones? She literally L- has cutting words. L- literally, yeah, like, my job it it involves like I have dissonant whispers. <laughs> I'm saying like, it's like I tell in the your back mama of jokes and with to, vicious like, mockery. You know, Metallica or something, yeah. Or Slayer. 
And you're just in the back of church listening to Raining Blood. That's that's what that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm just yeah, like no leaf clover just pounding in my ears. Yeah. <laughs> so what is um what is Gwen upon? It's kind of a, a cot, a dais. A it's stone? more like a like a dais, like a stone altar near the front. All right. Well, when I reach her, I'll get down on one knee, so we're about eye level. Hey, Butch. Butch is um, not speaking, but he has tears going down his cheeks. I think Gwen is... knows that something's not right or wasn't right and and seeing Butch like this she just tries to to reach out and like take it take his hand I can see how weak she is so I'll I'll take her hand and mine to guide it wherever she wanted it to go just to you. Um, sorry. I I don't really know. I don't have any. Hymir didn't tell me anything. It, he said you guys. You rescued me, and and I. I don't know where. I don't. I don't know. I barely remember. I really. It's all, it's, it's very, I know we were going to ambush the king and it, and it was foggy and that's pretty much it. And not physically foggy, like mentally. I'm tired, Butch. And I don't, I don't know what happened. The important thing is you're here and we're here. And when you've regained your strength, we can tell you everything that happened. Okay. Is is Gwen in her clothes? Yes. Like her regular clothes? Um yeah, it's I mean, yeah, they didn't change you. Okay. So I think uh I'm gonna I need to roll a perception to see if I notice. Yeah. I know I'm not wearing the bracelet. Do I notice the bracelet on, on Yeah, roll a perception check. So 24, looking right? down, what? It would be 24, right? Yeah, because you're minus four. That's right. Okay. So looking down, you see, you kind of like rub your, rubbing your hands and rubbing your wrists and you realize that something's missing and you look down and notice that that bracelet is missing and you kind of like look around and you see Rain standing there, kind of arms crossed and you notice the glinting, or the you takes you a second, but then you notice the bracelet on their wrist. Hi, Ray. I'm going to get the bag of edible mushrooms out of the back of holding and set them next to her. It takes Rain a second to say or do anything. And then they just run over and wrap their arms around you. It's immediate, like, relief. I think it, with a, a, as much gusto as Gwen can muster in the moment, just trying to hug them back. Uh, just out of... It's... She's frustrated? Like, Gwen is frustrated because she has no fucking idea what's going on, but she knows it's not good or it wasn't good. So she's just, like, trying to lean into the moment because it also wasn't great before that. So she's just trying to, like... 
find a center for a second and it's gone. There is yeah. one. Rain holds you for a second and then kind of backs up a little bit and looks down at their wrists and says, you see him undo the bracelet and this belongs to you. Hands it back to you. <clears throat> you have me worried for a second. No. And I put immediately put it back on. You missed some shit. Y- yeah. Y- you were gone for a while. I don't know what you know. But it was a little scary there for a little bit. I know a non-zero amount of information, but almost zero amount of information. Everyone else is okay, right? Yeah. Mostly. Everybody. I mean, there were some soldiers that died, but everybody that were around, yeah, everybody seems to be okay. Okay. Can I, can I ask a, a, just a general question? General question? To the DM. General question. Um, this might be dumb, but like, do we know, does the soul change like based on what Hugh did? So is the soul that we rescued the original Gwen soul or is it tainted still? Is it still tainted by Hugh's stuff? Um, like, would we know? You probably wouldn't know. Um, roll me... Roll me a perception check. Rhett's a little overwhelmed with emotion right now to really be paying that close of attention. Wait, am I am I not getting a natural fourteen on even on ones? That's perception, not persuasion. Oh, Okay, got it. Well, since my character is not as emotionally tied to the person, and I have a history with creatures in hell or from hell, would I perhaps wonder the same thing? Or have insight on whether that contract might be broken or not? Um... You would not have familiarity enough with Gwen as a person to really be able to tell one way or another. You know with your familiar with your familiarity with fiends and in a passing uh, people who have sold their soul or have signed contracts. Um, it is very, very rare to come across one that, where that contract has been broken and the soul did not end up in hell. So you don't really have a lot to go off of. I think everybody knew here it would be me. Yeah, you can uh, make a perception check as well. Having a similar deal myself and a master's degree in fiendology. <laughs> Is it perception? Yeah, make it. Is perception. this advantage for me? Um, no, this wouldn't be advantage. This would be just a straight perception check. Oh, one rolled on an, yeah. to an eighteen and then to a five. It's tough to tell. <clears throat> I have a direct line to a DD, but you know. Also in the temple. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Butch, you could make a. I mean, you you can make a perception check to see if you can physically notice anything, or you could make a religion check 
um, to see if you know anything about the way those deals would work. I will say, since you are in a temple to your god, I would give you advantage on the religion check. Or I could cast a spell. Or you could cast a spell. That's another option as well. Since I suddenly have a fifth level spell slot. I do. Like, how long does that spell take to cast? One minute. Was that, I'm sorry, was that a question Rhett asked out loud to anyone else? Or just something she wondered in her I, head? Well, so, like, I don't think that I would, even me being inappropriate, I don't think that I would ask that question out loud because I wouldn't think that this is the right time to ask that. So even though that would help us, I don't think that, I think I would have enough, like, social couth to not ask that out loud. Arnon has seven charisma. He totally asked. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so <Great. laughs> rain at this point, rain kind of still right next to you. Gwen goes, just looks at you and says, how are you feeling? Strange. And weak, and uh, kind of like that feeling like you slept so long you need to go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then I want to sleep for three days. I think we need to tell her. She kind of turns around to every, or they kind of turn around to everybody else and says, she deserves to know. Okay. I'll well, now you her. have to tell me. Well, Rick, in your book, did you write down, uh, just out of curiosity, I don't know exactly what your book has in it all of the time, but did you perhaps take any kind of record of daily activities or our adventure in general that maybe she, in general, that maybe she could, like, it could be copied somehow and, like, be read on her own? so that she can have some peace by herself to take that information in if she wants. So can you guys just give me like a, like a, um. Synopsis? Yeah, like the, you know, a short The short little, version. Yeah, like. The notes like, you might find on a cliff. Gonna, yeah, let's <laughs> pretend you were gonna send it in a message or two to me now. Just okay, because you're kind of, I don't know what happened, and y'all are kind of, you all. Okay. Y'all? Uh, you all are you, I got kind it. of freaking I got it. Out. I got it. I think at the sound of you, it's just. Hugh returned, revealed himself to be a devil, took what he gave you back, ripped up the deal that you struck. Your soul was taken to dis. We went into hell and got you back. That's what happened. Oh. And we borrowed some of your stuff to help us, which we will clearly return to you. And then I like take off the gloves and like, <laughs> here you go. Hugh was this pearl of power just... hers? <clears throat> uh. He wasn't just a demon, he was Tetevilus. The? Yeah. yeah. Tetevilus. Yeah. He about and killed I... me too. And I tree and watched you die. And it was awful. That I'll step went forward for and <laughs> hand her her uh, druidic focus back. Just gonna take it. 
If it weren't for Heimir... My gloves in one hand and my focus in the other. And just... <laughs> Which you go to... Get smaller. Hand... Or you grab the gloves with your one hand and then you go to grab the focus and you realize your hand isn't moving and you look down and realize that Heimir has his hand on top of yours. And when you start pulling back, he kind of lets go and you reach out and grab the focus. I think I, I grab the focus. And I think maybe with if if that is what happened, I kind of look over at Hymir and uh, just kind of like it's making sense now the way he was acting. Um, I just kind of look at him and say, I get, I, I get why you waited or why you were good. It's, it's just, this is fine. Uh, so everything's, uh, Please hold. <laughs> While this is happening, I'm just gonna like cur like whittle. I'm just gonna see if I can find some wood. I'm just gonna whittle like a little number one dad <laughs> plate, you know, for like oh. I'm here. Make a performance check. Uh, okay. Without I just, I just with feel bad for him. I'm like I'm like this well, dude's trying. Actually, no, not performance check. This would be just a straight dexterity check because you're not proficient in whittling. It could be performance it's whittling. True. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it could be flair. Do you put into this? It can be performance without proficiency. <laughs> Rick Flair whittling. <laughs> Shockingly, it's um, still. I mean, for somebody who has never whittled before. It actually looks uh, pretty good. It's coming along. I mean, you, you're not I'm very far. I'm keeping it to myself right now. You're not I, very, I feel bad for him. You're not very far into it yet, but it's it's starting to look pretty good. Sorry. I am, I am back. Um, so... I guess what I, I mean, that's, that's a lot that I think I need some time to question. Would I at this point feel the difference inside as far or like what has changed for Gwen? I would say right now you're too weak to notice anything. The only thing you notice is you don't even feel the normal strength and powers that you had before. So it's going to take a little bit of time to notice any kind of like realistic change to yourself. Okay. Um, I think I think I just I think I just need, um... I don't, I don't know. And I think I'm going to try to stand up. Uh, Butch moves to catch her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see all, you start to try and stand up and you see on your right hand side, you see Hymir turn and kind of like go to spot you. You see his arms one hand go out and the other one to your back. You see Rain on the other side do the same thing and you see Butch step forward. Can I just like take out my mandolin and just start playing a song of rest for oh, her? Good idea. Is, sure. Does anybody have my my staff? I do. And I think I'm going to I'm going to take the staff. That's for the 3D glasses. If anyone's wearing 3D glasses. <laughs> I do. Uh, I'm going to take the staff from. Uh, from Rhett and, and just kind of lean on it. 
Um, so what? Does she have hit points right now? Like, do we know? Like, what is? What's her strength? I mean, like, does that matter? Uh, no, this is okay. Out of game, um, she's suffering from resurrection sickness, which means for she has a negative four to all attack rolls and ability checks. So, and so, so real question though, can I, can I do, can I do the song of rest and will that help her or will it not matter? The only thing that's that, okay. the only thing that cures resurrection sickness is. Every day, every long rest she takes, her negative four goes to negative three, negative two, negative one. So basically, she just needs four days to recover. Okay. So really, all it's going to do is just warm her heart, but do nothing else. Exactly. <laughs> Morale is really important, though. The cool so. island song. So, what about the king? What about the king? Oh, yeah. Um, so, do you know what a rock Sasha is? No, I don't. Okay, that is a no. demon. It's a very bad king. A devil, I'm sorry, a devil. Uh, that is basically a shapeshifter and can change, can look like anything. Uh, the King of Shan was a Raksasha, and we killed him, so they're very vindictive, so he's... I, I actually killed him, so uh, he's probably going to be coming after me for the rest of my life. Maybe me too. Yeah. Okay. He's yeah, going to come too. after us, because family. Right, we... We ride together. Um, and I'll, yeah, okay. Yeah, he said that uh, he was employing the hand back when they murdered my family, so I kind of stabbed him a little bit, and then we all stabbed him some more, and I more yeah. punched him than anything. Yeah, he, yeah, Eric really gave him a whack. Um, yeah, we went we went a stabbing for sure. But you got to kill them in hell or they can come back. And he, those types of demons come back after the people that killed him forever. So should we at this point, that. like, tell her about Calliope's brother? Like, when are we going to do that? <laughs> Calliope, a lot is, of information. Calliope is still standing is she was walking. Oh, then no, I'm not saying shit. Room. Just kidding. Uh, Just I'm kidding. I'm actually going to pull Calliope aside while all of this is happening. All right. So, Elric, would you like to let's let's switch over to Elric real quick. Elric, you walk up to Calliope. General. Elric. I have to say. Uh, the odds of you all succeeding were very, very slim, but I had hope that you would all make it back, and you did, so... I mean, congratulations are one thing, but... It's very impressive. There were... The, the chances were even slimmer than we had anticipated. I don't know much about this, and I know even less about uh, Mintiri, but... I have a report ready. And I pull out uh, several sheets from the record-keeping book that I have. <laughs> there is something that you need to know. There is a... There was another tiefling that I'm we found in sure there was plenty of tieflings down there. This one claimed to be your twin brother. You see her face. If a if a lavender skinned being could go ghostly pale. 
and they somewhere just, on the color wheel yeah, just look color drained straight through you almost and uh, he said his name was Cassio make a persuasion check persuasion Oh, but wait, uh, I actually do have a question. Why would, why would Alec be trying to convince her? He's telling her the truth. I don't understand. I understand he's telling the, her the truth, but that doesn't mean that she's going to believe the truth. Do I notice this conversation? Um, they to... stepped outside, I believe. Did you step outside? Take yeah, her outside? yeah I, I did intentionally kind of okay. pull her away from everyone reconvening. Um, you can make a... Check. You can make a persuasion or a perception check to see if you over or if you notice them walk out. Does the butch still look like Elric? <laughs> oh no 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 no! Fifteen. I dropped that like right after you went through the tree. It was just a funny thing. How would so? She kind of. 22 on the perception. You did notice Elric and Calliope walk outside. So. I'm gonna. You know, what's Butch doing right now? Butch is with his best friend. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm gonna go over to Butch and say well, we might want to use the same trick to convince her that we used to convince her brother. What? with your hat of disguise. Um, show, show Calliope. Show Calliope what? The, what her brother looked like. Right now? Are you saying this in front of Gwen? Yeah, I walked over to Butch and said that. Okay. Or I guess, are you trying to whisper it? I guess was the question. No, I'm just no it's Charisma it. 7. <laughs> You can still whisper. Orpheus <laughs> felt very Winston. awkward and went outside for some fresh air. So, Elric, you see her kind of just like stunned silence, kind of puts her hand to her face. I'm going to with the report flipped to the page where I did a, as well of a drawing as I could of Cassiel. Make a performance check. It's probably not very good. <laughs> I, I want to see. Do you recognize Oh my, my god! god. Yes. She was on a nap 20! I am an artist. <laughs> I was really hoping it was going to look like... And in your book you reveal that it's a mirror... Yeah, oh I was really hoping you were going to. Uh, it was going to look like Scott's taxodermy <laughs> picture. I will. I will say when Arnon said that to Butch, I'm going to tell Butch. I don't know what's going on, but if you need to go take care of something, I'm not running anymore. So, you flip. To you this recognize page. this man. <laughs> <laughs> you flip to this page and it's a so it's, glad that my mic I'm so glad that my mic does not pick up how much I laugh at this stuff because it would just ruin everything all the time <laughs> <laughs> a very detailed drawing of this tiefling man and she looks and says and again is just in stunned silence and this is not possible Exactly what he said. I'm not sure what happened to separate the two of you. But at the very least, he remembers you. I would hope so. It would be very... If this... If this person truly is who he claims to be, However, you were in hell, and there are lots of shape-shifting and tricky 
things down there. I understand you're wanting to consider all options. So did he. <laughs> no one. I have not told anyone about my brother. You can imagine our surprise. I half expected you to say that you didn't have a brother at all. That's how I have lived my life for the past 15 or so years, ever since I saw my brother disappear in front of my eyes, and I assumed... Well, I assumed the worst. I assumed he was killed, disintegrated. We pissed off some really nasty people, and... Next thing I knew, they were beating the shit out of me, and... Pointed a finger at him, and he... He was gone. We meant to bring him with us, but where we found Gwen, we were surrounded. I mean, it was not your mission to go find someone who was potentially a dead man, so... Although, I mean, it kind of was, if you think about it, but not that dead man. <laughs> you... I am still not convinced. I don't know if this man truly was Cassiel or just somebody who knows a little too much information. Either could be true. If you want us to rescue him as well. What did he tell you? He told us much the same as what you just told me. Much more than that, he was in shock when we revealed that you were still alive. You got a side hustle running a carnival? I'm sorry, what? I'm not out there. Oh. That was Scott. <laughs> I thought you I thought you went out there. I thought you headed out. <laughs> you know. He No, he was seven charismaing talking to Butch, remember? That's right. <laughs> I have not mentioned my brother in 15 years. A long time. A long time. A long time. <laughs> I'm curious what exactly he told you. If you can give me details, please. Um, that is actually also in the report. <laughs> I'm just going to... That is the way of saying Emery doesn't remember. So <laughs> That is exactly the way of saying I don't remember. It's like, my character wrote it down because he writes down everything. <laughs> he watched him die. Or, I'm sorry, he watched her die. Um, and then got banished. Or teleported away. So there is actually something in this that makes a little bit of sense. He's been I'd, part of a resistance that Orpheus is actually familiar with. I am sure he is. So there is uh, something that I... I feel like I need to tell someone, and you're standing right here, so... Forgive me for using you as my sounding board. 
However, there is something about my brother and I that is not common knowledge. He would not remember. Because, uh... So, the story my brother told you about us being... Lobotomized him? Uh, kind of. Um, the story my brother told you about us being... human-born is not exactly accurate. We were born in this. This what? So I guess... We were born in this. In this shit. Oh this. my god. <laughs> we were. God damn it. The, you were born in the realm of Dispater himself. We were. We were born in this. We were born to human parents, but we were born to human parents who had been in the service of Levistus. Levistus? They were stuck. They ended up being Very captured. Guy. They were in the Bastille of Flesh when my brother and I were conceived. We were born there. So, technically, I guess, by the rules of the universe, we are native to this. So if they did indeed use a banishment spell... It would make sense that he was banished back to this. I assumed that he was, you know, disintegrated or something like that. I did not even consider banishment at the time. Th My brother suffered from a memory modification when we were younger. That's a wicked spell. And because of that, he was never... He was able to forget our time down there. We were only there for a few years before our parents were able to get us out. They did not abandon us the way that he mentioned to you in the way you writ wrote in your report. They sacrificed themselves so we could escape. But after that, then yes, the rest of what he told you was true. We did live, the two of us, on our own in the slums and the streets of Rock Rialt for 16 or so years uh, relying on each other for survival before taking we started once we became teenagers we stopped the petty theft in this in the thievery and started taking on odd jobs protection details and random you know whatever we could get our hands on that old chestnut. Our... We were contracted to... Well, he, uh, he told you that part already. There were... Some... Rich people in the outskirts of town. We thought... It was... A simple... Thief, thief's group that we were taking out, but clearly it was not. But I will not bore you with the details of a story he already told you. Clearly this person is either telling you the truth, or they know a lot of my history. It doesn't hurt to be prepared for either eventuality. That said, 
I think I can contact him. One of the unfortunate turn of events uh, detailed in the report is that when we went to rescue Gwen, I used magical pigment to open a door that we did not get back in time to close. That is unfortunate. Casiel was very resourceful. And if this is indeed him, I am sure him and the group that him and Orpheus were a part of, if they they would be able to handle themselves, I, I would hope. Wait. You can cast Sending. I can. I will have to wait until tomorrow. I am unfortunately tapped out. <sighs> but don't think I have now that already thought of this. Yeah. <laughs> now that we have confirmation that someone claiming to be your brother is alive, you sending to your brother might confirm it. Don't think I've not already thought of this and was planning on doing it first thing tomorrow morning when I wake up. Unfortunately, I used up all of my sending while I was contacting you earlier today, but this is top priority for me tomorrow. I'm sure speak for our group in saying that we will help in whatever way we can. To which she just kind of nods to you and says, well, if this is my brother or if this is somebody who is posing as my brother, either way, I thank you for this information and and either way, it will be invaluable to us. Of course. So, while this is all going on, let's turn back to the inside of the temple. Gwen's trying to walk around. This is all a lot right now. Helping. Stretching her legs. Just take it easy. No one's used this body for about a week. That's how, that's how long all this took? Be right back, guys. Mm, maybe a little longer. Well, the amulet was involved, so. The amulet. You're s- After what you said he did, you're still using it? Ironically, it's what allowed us to save you. That is but true. But we really probably should have used the weekly elephant, I guess. But, you know, we still have that. That's we do good. still have the weekly elephant. That's true. And now we have you. Mm. Yeah. It's definitely, uh... Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm here. I'm here. I can't, I'm, I'm not trying to... And then I'm just going to be like... Remember this guy? And then, like, Elton's going to be all wiggly. Hey, buddy. (laughs) He's going to be emotional support Elton for you. Oh, man, Scott almost went down hard. Oh, and the the chair cat is staring right at us. I think the chair cat. I think the chair cat tripped Scott. That's what happens. (laughs) <laughs> Does Elton I, know Common? He would, he would, I think that he would take, he would be able to take direction, like, 
commands, just like a, it's not like dogs understand English. Here's a here's a question for you, uh, Nick. Does Elton understand common? Uh, hold, please. <laughs> but we just did. <laughs> Where is Orpheus right now? He buggered off. I went outside okay. earlier to get some fresh air because the whole situation was awkward for him. <laughs> so I'm currently <laughs> leaning outside the doors, scoping out the area and keeping an eye on your conversation with the general. Um, kind of its tempo are we in? To answer your question, no, he only he only understands Draconic. Shit. To okay. which Rhett would have had to have been talking to him in Draconic this entire time. Anyway, um, you are in a temple to Sehanin Moonbow. I just cuddle Elton. Uh, that's the only thing that got me to take a seat again. But I kind of try to find Nick, a you, all you seat. missed is... Yeah. I heard everything. Elton is... Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I upgrade. I have wireless now. I can wear these when I go pee. <laughs> um, I'm glad you can hear us. Yeah. It's like, so there's P flex now on your um, head. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so I, I saw Orpheus when everybody came in, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask who, who was that? I mean, he left, but who was he? Who is he? Is he with us? He is the only useful human I've met. That's 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 like I the best Butch. compliment I, Butch has ever given. <laughs> I'm a little sad Orpheus didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I eventually I'm you thought I heard it because it. I'm half human. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're an elf. Yeah, we've we've had this discussion, right? You are an elf. It doesn't make uh, me less uh, offended. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> her human half is just as valid as her elf half. I don't think you're Thank in the room. You. Unless you're the Dungeons and Dragons rule changes from Wizards of the Coast. Okay, oh, we're not yeah. going to go into that oh, right yeah. now. <laughs> Let's can of worms that can of worms. Can opener. So are there like priests and stuff around? There's dru a few druids standing around the outside edges. Um, and then there's, of course, Hymir, who is keeping an eye on Gwen. Very helicopter parenty right now. I don't think she minds it right at the second. I think is, he, uh, is, is Orpheus just standing there, just kind of looking at us? <laughs> he went is he smoking a pipe? Ch chilling outside. Uh, okay, that that that's enough off to himself. Uh, uh, Elric is going to... After he's done talking with the general, he's going to go... He's probably going to look into the room, see that you guys are in there. Wonder without saying anything where Orpheus is, since he's being brooding and mysterious. And I'm gonna find him. His name is uh, Orpheus. Uh, what was it, Rat? Constantine. Right, Constantine. Yeah, Constantine. Constantine. And uh, he's been teaching me Infernal, too, so that's that's cool. That's true. I've I've learned some Infernal words. Orphicles. I'm like, a th I'm like 33% competent. In life? I think if you're saying that out oh, loud. Oh, yeah. No, in life, I'm like maybe 3.7% competent. I don't think Butch does percentages. If you're, that's okay. Them. 
a lot, but we still haven't discovered his Orphicles tendon. If Rhett's talking about Infernal out loud, Gwen's going to look at Rain and say, Hey, did you get the book? They just kind of look at you and say, and in Sylvan, say back, I did, thank you. I've been reading quite a bit. Is that still in Sylvan? Yes. I think floored that it worked. Gwen and Sylvan is like, I'm so glad. So glad. Where's Elfric? Oh, he stepped outside for some general discussion. General discussion? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's accurate. <laughs> I feel like at this point, Hymir would have walked up to, had taken Butch to the side slightly and walked up to you out of earshot of everyone else, but still within the same room. Sir? God damn it, Perry. The platypus is back. Not God damn it, you Perry. God damn it, Perry, the platypus is back. <laughs> and turns to you and says, Words cannot describe how thankful I am for you and your group for returning her to me. I am in your debt. If you say so, sir. I know she meant, I know she means a lot to all of you, but nothing changes the fact that she is my daughter and I, there is nothing that I can do to repay what you have given me today. Thank you, sir. Just kind of shallow nods to you and then walks back over towards the altar. Ask him how the war wound is. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what? So. Uh, Butch makes a mental note to approach Heimer later about the acquisition of certain items. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need armor going forward. I'd like armor. Armor's nice. Yeah. You probably have a shield too. Oh. Can I have a shield? I don't think that's druids. out of character. I don't think druids are proficient in shields, are they? Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, we should probably yeah. find you a light armor, medium armor, shield. armor shield. Oh, yeah, shit. So he carried a shield the whole time. Oh yeah, you did. Have you that. have experience. <laughs> yeah, I forgot your gave him advantage on initiative. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> which was awesome. I, I would like to find you a ring of mind shielding. So you what? can't mind mind shield a, a, a ring of something to protect you from telepathic assault. What a <laughs> no. That was tel telepathic. I didn't even think about this. What? I mean, I'm not opposed to that kind of protection. Oh, no, we'll get you some armor. Yeah, I think I'm more... Just want... I don't know. 
Yeah, you're like, you're not not interested. Yeah, I, th I think I just want, like, some substantial protection. Or, or you know, more than this, and I just kind of, like, hold the robe up a little bit. I'm like, this ain't gonna stop much. I kind of want a metal helmet now. <laughs> Honestly. To which Rain says, well, if you if you want this back, I mean, kind of touches the armor. If you want this back, you can have it. I made a couple modifications, but I mean, this was yours. I mean, okay. you're, you're, Maybe you're, don't do the exchange in the temple, okay? You're, you're, you're using it though. So, I mean, I, it's, no, I want you, you to keep it. I'm just going to kind of mess with the, the bracelet a bit. I'll, I'll find, I'll find something. I'll find something new. Break in, I think. As long as the coffers haven't dried up in the last seven days. I, I don't think that's a problem. You run, run with some fucking... I don't know where the hell you guys found all that money that you guys are carrying around, but... God damn. We killed a dragon. Wait, how much money do we have? Still like 30 or 40. I would love 40. to tell you if I didn't leave my notebook in Ohio. Still like 30 or 40,000. Yeah. I believe it's 42 and some change. Okay, because I've got a list... It's still a yeah, like game. like off the top of my head, it's forty two and some change. Um, I know that we have, I believe we have fourteen diamonds and like around forty something gems, just miscellaneous gems. Well, I just hit fifth level spells, and a lot of them are very expensive. <laughs> Arnon's gonna be kind of like looking around and seeing if he can observe what type of stuff goes on in this temple. Sure, make a perception check. Like if there's any like... I would also like to do that. Day-to-day -day goings on around. Butch does not because he's under the mistaken impression that he already knows. <laughs> 23. So, you notice right away um, that... This is definitely not a normal day-to-day -day occurrence right now because of the fact that this resurrection just happened and it seems like everyone is kind of taking a little bit of a step back because of uh, completing this non-common ritual, this kind of like one-off ritual. So there is a lot of people... A lot of these druids, like I said, there's probably about five of them in there, uh, plus Hymir. And they're all kind of standing around. A few of them are talking. You do see them occasionally going through and um, kind of tidying up some of the, like, incense and uh, um, scent. Uh, what the fuck are those things called? The censures or... Um, those things that uh, they... The little... Yeah. Like those smoke things. Yeah, it's like a censure yeah. or something like that. I don't remember what the name of it is. But um, you do see them, a few of them kind of more or less cleaning up from this ritual. And you do see uh, a few of them on the outskirts uh, lighting candles. It appears to be, uh, a few of them appear to be praying uh, of some sort. Um but you get the feeling that they're all kind of just recuperating from whatever this, however strenuous this ritual was. Are there other chambers? Hallways going anywhere? So you're in a large central chamber. You do see a couple doors in the back, like off. So off to the side, um, the opposite side of the the main door that you came in, there's a door on either side. 
I think at some point, Martin's gonna like wander, step behind a pillar and put his cloak up and check out what's behind those doors. Okay, go ahead and make a stealth check. Thirty. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you put your hood up and you walk up to, and like I said, there's a door. You have the main altar area, and then there's a door on the right hand side and the left hand side. When we came, when we came in from outside, did one side of the building look bigger? No, it like, looked pretty much uniform. Okay, then I'll just go to the right. So going into the door on the right, what you see is like a small little, almost like office area. Um, You see a, right inside of the door, you see like a rack with some robes. And uh, then past that, you see a little, a small little bookshelf with about five or six books on them, on it. And then, Going past that, kind of turning to your left, you see um, a big, a large wooden desk, not in great condition by any means, but uh, at one point was like this really nice oak, large desk, and then just through wear and time has, quality has kind of, it hasn't been taken the best care of. Um, there any like papers, ledger books? I'm gonna look specifically to any ref for any references to orphanage or. Go ahead and make an investigation check. So since I was also doing perception initially, would I have like, and I didn't score necessarily high? Would I have noticed that that Arnon's doing this? Uh, no, because he rolled a 30, so bitch went completely invisible. <laughs> 27 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on your investigation check. So, so wait, I wouldn't have noticed that he went completely invisible? You noticed that Arnon is like, gone. Like that he went from visible to, like, I oh, mean, he's gone I, I wandered behind a pillar and disappeared. Yeah, he wandered behind a pillar and you never saw him come back out from behind the pillar. It's like the thing where like a bus drives by and the person yeah. that was there is like, they're gone. Like, you know, Arnon <laughs> left, but you don't know where he went. He might have gone outside. He might be hiding behind the pillar. He might have. You just know he's not there anymore. I don't, I don't like these 90s action film rules, but all right. <laughs> so uh, with hey, tw- Arnon over the last four levels has picked up a lot of stealth technique. <laughs> to the point where he is expert in it now. <laughs> so with a 27 investigation, you look and a few of the, like, you go up to the bookshelf specifically first and you see, like, all of the, the like, four, four or five books on there are all um, specific to Sehanin and Saloon and, like, ritual books and stuff like that. Um, you walk over to the desk and you notice a couple drawers in the desk. You rifle through a couple of the drawers and you do find a, like, a stack of, like, notes and letters in there. Um, one of which you do see is uh, a letter from a, like, a headmaster, more or less, at an orphanage in... Torchev asking for um, so it's it's basically just requesting very politely if they have the ability to spare any funding or any kind of uh, you know provisions for is, some of is the there orphans. an address? Yes, there is an address you are able to. And you notice that it is. uh, You're not super familiar with this town, but you are familiar enough to know that this address would be 
um, a few blocks away from the central, like I'm gonna I'm gonna castle note that area. address. Okay. Is there any indication of a response? Uh, no, not you. Didn't see any response, but why would they keep a copy of a response? No notation of any goods sent them in any ledger or anything. Mm. Donation yeah. list or no, not not that you can find in there. Okay, I'll uh, I'll mosey on back to the main room. Okay, and just kind of insert myself back into the group. And then all of a sudden, uh, Arnon's back. As quickly as he disappeared, he shows back up again. Dude, come on. We're on the same side. Like, that that shit, there's been a lot of shit going on. That sucked. What happened? Where'd you go? I had to pee. I'm sorry, this is Fantasyland. You just, like, vanished out of thin air to go pee. pee? I'm pretty sure Gwen went to go pee. Didn't need a, no, no, I needed to check in for that type of stuff. Dude, will, people have gone, like, there's so much shit going on. Like, what, I mean, communication. I, like, I, I was standing next to you and then it was like, oh, nope, gone. That's just rude, bro. Right. And you love okay. the word bro. Check. Well, I'm right. just using bro because you love it so much. Instinctually. Um, um, what reasons. kind of, like, sanity check do I have to do? to make to to see whether or not I stab her for using bro three times. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right. Can I? We 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 we're still inside the temple, right? What are you inciting? Gwen? Arnon saying he had to go pee. I mean, you can, but you have a negative 4. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. I mean, wait, well, if if I'm having the conversation with them though. Yeah, you can roll like, an insight too. 12. <laughs> no. I mean, he seems you have no I reason know nothing. to think. That's okay. Hey, I got a 24 on my perception, I think it was, earlier with the negative four. This so is not going to go well. Perception and insight are not the same thing. Oh, They do 20. have the same modifier. Uh, Arnon, if you would like to roll a deception check. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, guy can't even go to the bathroom without getting examined. Hey. It was coming from a place of love and care. And since I was angry, that's why I used words you wouldn't Nine. like. Oh, shit. You couldn't even hit that if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, clearly he's full of shit. Did he, like, shit. stutter his way through his response? Yeah, clearly he is full of shit, but... Not anymore. Listen, Arnon, I, I apologize. I apologize for just, you know, just yelling at you and using words that you don't prefer even if it's in jest and I'm sad I am also sad that is now part of my day-to-day -day language but I I just I'm just worried about everyone I don't want to lose anybody else I don't want to lose anybody else I'm a little paranoid I'm a little tired Butch is going to walk up to Rhett and put his hand on her shoulder and just say Rhett I love you but can you please take your potty mouth outside the holy temple I Arnie's said, bro. Look at Butch and <laughs> what is happening? A... I'm also only speaking to Arnon. What is happening here? <laughs> Arnon's gonna look at Butch and try to figure out if he's got a pet beaver in his pockets. Every um, I think Gwen's just gonna be like, guys, can we like? I'm assuming. I hold, can no, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Arnon got relevant information, and I rolled a twenty, and we we're just like glazing over that, and I am not cool with that. <laughs> All you can tell is that I was lying. Yeah, all you, you can tell he's lying. That doesn't mean he has to tell you the truth. It doesn't give him you but we insight haven't, into my brain. We haven't finished that conversation. <laughs> like, well, that's fine if you why, want to continue like, the conversation. I'm explaining to you why I'm sorry. So I'd like to know why you're lying to me. <laughs> I didn't want to say I had to take a shit. So I said piss. Man. I will okay, inform you of my need to relieve myself in the future so you don't freak out, bruh. Arnon, uh, well, please it just, take It just two sucks that you feel like you have to lie to me after this much time together, but okay, man. By the way, above game, 
I dropped the F word before break and none of you noticed. Not a single one of you. Arnon dropped the F word. Yeah, but you're Arnon. You're not also, someone who was raised to be cultured by two amazingly famous parents. Who and you weren't in the not you weren't that F word temple. at all times. Not that F word. The friend oh. word. He oh, referred that. to Gwen yeah, as no his noticed. friend and nobody noticed. Gwen uh, didn't hear it, did she? No, no you were we were outside. General. We were outside. Fuck. Oh, I was Fuck. inside. <laughs> now I'm so, saying the other F word. I believe <laughs> that at some point. That's during, the not disturbing F word. During this, uh, <laughs> everything that's going on here. Hymir would have come back to Butch at some point and said, it doesn't have to be now, but at some point I would really appreciate a debrief as to what all you went through down there. So we can be yes. aware of... Of course, sir. Um, I would like... I, with all due respect, sir, I, I am not aware if you are a member of the... Of the the people that run this temple. Not this one specifically, no. All right, well then I'll... All right, thank you, sir. Just nods to you. So. Is there anything else that you are trying to accomplish? Uh, Gwen? Yeah. I'm planning on communing with sending Mumbo uh, later tonight, and I can ask her yes, uh, questions that can be answered with a yes or a no, and I wanted to offer you one of those questions to ask directly of the Lunar Lady. Uh, and we'll have many more opportunities to do this in the future. But if there's been something that's been bothering you since you woke up. I, I think I'm still trying to. I can't tell yet. I, it. Am I, am I whole? Like. All right, I will, I will ask her. I don't know. I don't think I'm I'm up to to guff enough to know if something's still wrong. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know much. It's it's a lot to. Uh, I just need. I, I don't know. Sure. I'm just gonna give Butch a big hug because, like, it. I, I'm just. I don't remember being gone, but it's enough. I, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad you guys went for it. Went for me. Absolutely. Butch is restraining himself to avoid breaking her fragile health body. <laughs> Again. Like, just, we need to, like... Hugs. Well, if there's nothing else, you all. Uh, oh, uh, I went looking for Orpheus. Aye, so you did. Yes, <laughs> Orpheus was just went right outside, didn't you? Yes, he's outside, leaning up next to the door. Orpheus. Hello, Rick. Have you been outside this whole time? Well, 
I figured I might as well give your team their privacy. And if I'm honest, I'm a little uncomfortable with the memories I brought back from my from my regiment and the com comrades I shared laughs with and special moments with. We fought this hard to bring back one person, but my comrades, they're gone forever. I, so I hope you, I hope you all appreciate this moment. Of course. Uh, again, my condolences to your, your team. Orpheus just nods and continues looking around. Does Orpheus, while he's been out here scoping the area, has he noticed anything unusual or suspicious? You can make a perception check. Eighteen. Nothing suspicious going on. I mean, it's pretty calm. It's probably early afternoon at this point. Um, slight breeze coming through, blue skies. You're on the edge of a forest that's looking through. You do see a few, you know, forest wildlife, deer and such kind of scampering through on the edge of your riff, but other than that, nothing out of sorts. You know, <laughs> as we've said before, You are welcome to stay on with our team. Are you sure you'd want to share this space with a dirty old human like myself? Their misgivings towards humans aside, we already have one amongst us who is at least half human. History being what it is. You shouldn't be made to answer for actions of people that you've never met. And you've already literally saved one of us from hell. At the very least, we owe you. Well, I appreciate those kind words. I'll give it some thought. Looking towards your conversation with the general, I wouldn't be surprised if you're going to take another trip to hell. Uh, it seems we find ourselves there more often than we would, than honestly anyone would like. For every time we've gone there, we have managed to always leave. Sometimes I wonder if we're tempting fate every time we do, but, well, <laughs> this amulet has served its purpose. Tell me, how did you 
acquire such an amulet. Well, this was given to me by someone that we only recently found out was one of the generals of hell itself. One by the name of Titivilus. But when he gave it to me, he went by the name Hugh Percival Lacrosse. Why would an enemy give you such a powerful amulet? You know, I keep asking myself that question. You might have assumed with me being so unaccustomed or not as trained as one would need to to normally cast that spell that we would have ended up on a plane that should have killed us. Would uh, Orpheus have any historical knowledge of Tivolus? Would that trigger anything for him? I make a history check. Twelve. The name sounds familiar. You remember... Hold on one second. You... I mean, you spent years in Dis. You've heard the name Tativilus. Tativilus is the right hand of Dispater, or at least that's what's commonly that's common knowledge. Tativilus was the main advisor and chief general of Dispater. I doubt somebody as powerful as Tativilus would do so without cause or reason. Especially one so directly underneath the spader. There's got to be more to this. There might be. If there is, we haven't found its purpose yet. This, this will trouble me. For the time being, if you'll, if you'll welcome me. I'll continue with your party. I need an answer. And this happenstance doesn't seem to satisfy. As far as I'm concerned, you're welcome to join us. Please. The victory that we have is as much yours as it is ours. I'm going to kind of motion to go back in with the rest of the gang. I follow Elric into the temple. And as you two enter, you see this group, this rabble, this hodgepodge of beings. You see a mousy little redhead kneeling on a staff, trying to get her strength up to stand. You see this large, imposing, shell cladded Tortle, who, for as imposing of a visage he is, also softness and looking like a giant teddy bear, you see this 
blonde leather covered kind of snarky looking hellion yeah hellion (laughs) standing (laughs) off to the side with a half cocked grin trying to keep anyone from realizing what's actually going on in their head and you see this brooding dark tortured soul standing there keeping everyone at arm's length even though he knows that that's the furthest thing that he actually wants to do yet together you all have formed this somehow effective family and that is where we will pick up next week well real quick at some point when Gwen's not too smothered um Arvin will come over and sit next to her and put his finger in his pocket and pull out Miss Swiss and just let her hold her for a little bit. (laughs) Thank you. Miss Swiss. (laughs) I'm really glad to see Miss Swiss make it out okay. Made her a little uh You're muted, basket Lindsay. so she's safer. I want Elton to get like excited seeing Miss Swiss just because like he just knew that she existed. <laughs> oh like, yeah, he was all, like, like, finally the cloak like, all week. That's what it smelled. That's the smell. <laughs> so he's like he's like he's like wriggling because like he smelled like and just like kind of like does like a little fat loaf loaf dragon like curl as much as he can curl with his fat weird loaf body <laughs> like and like lays at her feet <laughs> love it ember shod ember shod <laughs> oh my god or as i like to call him thunder chode chonky boy <laughs> thunder chode. That big kid. <laughs> he's so thick so that's where we will pick up next week where hopefully we will run into maybe a situation where we have to deal with natural ones. You all. The natural one tonight. Still uh, the same day. Oh, oh, th- oh, was there was there a natural yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, there were a couple. Yeah, actually. I ended up getting a 10, but it, yeah, it was a natural one. Still in the same day that you fought the pit fiend. Butch got one, too. Oh, did oh, you, damn. Butch, did you want to go ahead and do that before we sign off? Uh, the three questions before Butch goes to sleep, he'll light his incense and commune with the Lunar Lady. These questions three. First, let's answer, let's ask Gwen's question. Is Gwen whole? You get a positive response. It does indeed seem like Gwen is whole. Um, Was the brain that is inside her skull created by your power? Uh, Inside her skull now or the previous one? No, the one that's in her skull now. In her... And again, you get a positive response. This is, seems to be the will of Sehanin. And the last question, because Gwen's warlock patron ripped up their deal, is she no longer under his influence? This one takes a minute to get a clear answer, but 
It seems like, yes, she is no longer... Or she is free of her contract. She is no longer in his service. Thank you, Sanin. Thank you, Lunar Lady. And now, now we really will catch you next week. <laughs> and so, another thing. And one more thing. <laughs> and, <laughs> and on that note, so thank you all for joining us for this. And then, and then Lindsay goes, <laughs> it's 1215. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it's my fault. Like, <laughs> Thank you all for joining us for this uh, very low-key session tonight. Needed it after <laughs> Friday, I think. So, I, I didn't think it was that low-key. Actually, there a lot happens. There's a lot that happens. That's true. It's, it's this an is like information-packed, story-full episode. That is true. So, but thank you all for joining us, and we will see you again on Tuesday. Less natural ones. Less natural ones. Bye.